Well, 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 it seems we have another business to avoid. Do you remember the gardening centre some weeks ago who was using facial recognition type camera system to check if you're wearing a face mask or not before refusing you entry if you're not wearing one? That was Whiteley's Garden Centre in Murfield in West Yorkshire. Somewhere to avoid. But now we have a household name taking the gauntlet of places to be shunned. This time it's the cooperative group, otherwise known as the co-op, who have now raised privacy concerns after a trial of facial recognition cameras being used in stores. Yeah, this one isn't about face masks, although I'm sure it could be adapted quite easily. This one is currently actual facial recognition within currently 18 co-op food stores. The supermarket said the pilot was done to protect workers from assaults by shoplifters because facial recognition will really make a difference when it comes to not being assaulted, won't it? Co-op. That's what your normal CCTV cameras are for. Infringing people's rights just in case someone does something wrong is not how the law works. If someone commits an offence, you have the cameras to use, should you need to, in order to follow up that complaint. However, accessing databases of your customers is not going to prevent anything from happening. The system from startup Facewatch alerts workers if someone enters a store who had a past record of theft or antisocial behaviour. Which clearly doesn't mean that they're going to be there for any of those reasons and should not be denied entry to a place based on the past. The initiative was organised by the Southern Cooperative, which is independent of the larger co-op chain but runs more than 200 stores in the south of England, using their brand. In an open letter to the retailer, and I'll pop a link to the letter in the description. Privacy International questioned the legality of the technology in stores. It also asked whether information was being shared with the police. Director of Civil Rights Group Big Brother Watch, Silky Carlo, said to see a supposedly ethical company secretly using rights abusive tech like facial recognition on its customers in the UK is deeply chilling. This surveillance is well known to suffer from severe inaccuracy and biases, leading to innocent people being wrongly flagged and put on criminal databases. Live facial recognition is more commonly seen in dictatorships than democracies. This is a serious error of judgment by Southern Co-op, and we urge them to drop these Big Brother-style cameras immediately. The Southern Cooperative said that there were clear signs about the system in the stores involved in the trial and that it was GDPR compliant. In a statement, it added that no data had been shared with police. But they also said, already this year we have seen an 80% increase in assaults and violence against our store colleagues. The purpose of our limited and targeted use of facial recognition is to identify when a known repeat offender enters one of our stores. This gives our colleagues time to decide on any action they need to take. For example, asking them to politely leave the premises or notifying police if this is a breach of a banning order. Okay, so no data shared with the police, but they're using the systems to notify the police if someone's breaching a banning order, or to identify a known repeat violent offender so that store colleagues can politely ask the known repeat violent offender to kindly leave the store because they've been identified as a known repeat violent offender on facial recognition technology and they don't wish to serve them. What, and this action taken by staff isn't going to elicit a response that would mean the data would then have to be shared with the police in order for them to prosecute somebody because they've violently reacted to you? Fucking <laughs> behave yourselves. Now, although they did try to back up their claim by adding that violence in stores occurs when a colleague intervenes after a theft has already taken place and using facial recognition, improve the safety of our store colleagues. Okay, so simply telling someone they can't come in to buy shopping isn't going to cause problems then. Yet again, CCTV cameras can monitor for thefts. It can be used to prosecute people once it's been used to identify people after they have committed an offence. This is like a pre-accusation before anyone even commits an offence and is ridiculous. Now, maybe if people stopped being such lazy fat fucks and happy to sit on their ass behind a computer screen watching, watching, watching and doing nothing, then we could have people actually out there acting as a deterrent with high visibility action. But no, just like the police, you want everything whilst doing nothing. 
Now, remember the firm who created the system, Facewatch. And remember how Southern Co-op said that no data had been shared with the police. Well, the BBC. And yes, I know, don't trust them. But in this case, there was some interesting information that they uncovered. The BBC reported that last year, the firm Facewatch was on the verge of signing data sharing deals with the Metropolitan Police and the City of London Police and was at the time in talks with uh, Hampshire and Sussex Police Forces. But I guess the Southern Co-op Group overlooked that in an attempt of what they pretend not to know won't hurt them. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.